Potentiometer is a device which is used to determine the EMF of the given cell. So, it is consisting of mainly two parts, primary circuit and secondary circuit. The primary circuit, source cell, key, rheostat are connected. In the secondary circuit, unknown cell, whose EMF determined, to be determined, and galvanometer and uh, high resistance, and jaw key are connected in series. In between A and B, there is a 10 meters manganese wire, a uniform class sectional manganese wire is fixed. The procedure. The current which is coming from the source cell splits into two parts I1 and I2. I1 current is passing through the wire, I2 current is passing through the secondary circuit. According to the Kirchhoff first law, I is equal to I1 plus I2. I is equal to I1 plus I2. Now, as current is passing through the wire, some potential will be drop takes place in the wire. Because potential V is equal to according to Ohm's law IR, where I is the current, R is the resistance. Let us assume that as a resistance, R is equal to rho into L by A, as area is very very less than length, then R is equal to rho into L. We can write. Where rho is called as a specific resistance, total resistance per total length. Here let us take as R dash, R dash, a particular length resistance, total resistance is capital R. Now, V is equal to I into, in place of R dash, what we can write rho into L, rho into L. This is a potential drop across the manganese wire. Okay, now, if V, potential drop across the wire is equal to EMF of the cell, EMF of the cell, then the current doesn't flow through the secondary circuit. Current only flows through the primary circuit because current chooses the shortest path. So that as condition is I is equal I1, I2 is equal to I is equal to I1 as I2 is 0 for that condition. V is equal to E. Therefore, E is equal to I rho L, where E is the EMF of the secondary cell. And rho is the specific resistance, L is the balancing length. The main principle of this potential meter is how much potential drop is there, same EMF is exist here, then current will be flow through the primary only. The current does not flow through the secondary one. That is the reason. The EMF drop, potential drop here should be equal to here. So, by calculating the potential drop is V is equal to I rho L, here that is V is equal to E, E is equal to I rho L, here I is a current which is coming from the primary circuit, rho is a specific resistance, L is a balancing length. So, E is directly proportional to L. More EMF, more balancing length, less EMF, less balance. In such a manner, E will be proportion. This is the principle of the potentiometer. Then, how to determine? To determine the EMF of the secondary cell, the same process E1 is equal to I rho L1. We need to say that as first one cell is a known cell to be taken, that is EMF is E1. I rho, I is a current rho is balancing length of particular cell is L1. Similarly, let us take as equation 1. We have to take a unknown cell whose EMF is E2. Again, we have to place here, we have to find out the balancing length slowly by moving the jockey a particular length only, galvanometer shows the zero reflection. Then we have to find out the balancing length, then I rho L2, it is equation 2. So E1 by E2 from equation 1 and 2, E1 by E2 is equal to L1 by L2. Here we want E2. E1 by E2 is equal to L1 by L2, where E2 is unknown. EMF of a given cell. To determine that one, E1 into L2 by L1. E1 is known, L2 is a balancing length when secondary cell is placed, L1 is a balancing length when known place known cell is placed over here. Then by substituting these values, EMF of the secondary cell can be unknown cell can be determined.